How you doing? It's uh, Tech Suicide here, and um, I'm gonna be sh um, showing another tutorial on Photoshop, and this one is going to focus around putting makeup on a girl, anywhere from you know blush to lips, and um, changing her hair color. And also, we'll probably be playing around with the Liquify tool. So let's get started. First thing I did is I went to open, and I just found a random picture of a you know pretty pretty girl you know she's pretty and um, I'm gonna give her some makeup and stuff too so um, grab our brush tool and um, make the uh, brush size appropriate and um, then we're just gonna press Q now when I do this now you can see red like a light red transparent red is gonna show up that's what we're going for and I'm gonna put a little bit right there okay so now we're good now we can go ahead and press Q again now as you can see what that did is it made a selection around um, our colored areas so now by pressing control U your hue and saturation window should pop up now when you play around with the saturation and you play around with the hue you can get some pinks for your blushes or you can make it any way you'd want so I'm gonna select OK here and um, I'm gonna actually grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to just right click and deselect now you're gonna say to yourself wow that looks like shit well that's because it does so what we can do here is we can grab our um, history tool brush um, make it to size and notice up here how I have it on a fade in so it's not going to look so choppy. Um, so we get that effect right there. So there we go. We just gave her a little bit of uh, blush. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now if we want to zoom in a little bit, we can take care of her lips too. And notice the blush right there. That looks so. That looks really realistic. You wouldn't know. So we're gonna do the same thing with our um, lips as, as we did with our blush. So let's go ahead and get our brush out, size it down. We're gonna press Q, and we're just gonna color in her lips. And once again, it doesn't really matter if you go out of the lines because we have our history tool brush. So now once we have it all colored in, we're gonna press Q again. And once again, we're going to get a control U. And we can mess around with this and bring this up just a tad. And um, then we can do deselect. And actually, we don't really have to um, come back through here and really um, change her lips. It's looking pretty good. So um, when we zoom out, see see how that is so it's looking pretty good right now um, <clears throat> now if we wanted to let we can change our hair color so I think we'll do that um, once again we're gonna grab our brush tool select Q and just color in her hair and if you just wanted to give her highlights that's okay tool um, this is probably gonna look like crap you have to experiment you know with um, your your own work and um, there we go she would look weird with uh, orange hair wouldn't she so we're gonna select Q again now if you want to you can go to image adjustments and um, you could go to color balance and um, if I wanted to give her red hair or maybe even pink maybe that's okay so let's go ahead and right click and deselect now this is looking pretty good other than the fact that you can see a little pink all the way around her skin and stuff so let's um, take that out by using our history tool brush you you need to get familiar with your history tool brush because it'll save your ass a lot and 
And if you get some of your um, old hair, that's okay because it's not really going to um, like in reality. It's it's not like um, the highlights in her hair will all be the same. You know what I mean? So just go around, take it out of her skin. And there we go. And actually right about here, around here. And out of her hair right there. And there we go. We gave her some red hair. Um, thank you for watching. And um, if you like this tutorial, just comment. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, just send me a message and I'll get back to you. Please subscribe and uh, have a good day.